In front of padlocked school gates, protesters took the place of pupils once again at Batley Grammar this morning. There were around 50 men still not satisfied with the school's apology after cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad were shown to a class. We do not accept that the school has taken this issue seriously, given that it's taken them four days to merely suspend only one of the teachers involved. The school has apologised, suspended the teacher. Is that not enough? You know, apologies, what are they going to do, sir? We need to send a right message and, you know, get a right ideology. Nobody should not allow to speak against any religion. The protest here this morning has been quiet and peaceful, but the worry about a repeat of much noisier scenes yesterday prompted the school to ask pupils to stay at home today. Yesterday's protest was condemned as intimidating by government ministers who said teachers should be allowed to appropriately show images of the prophet. Some fear the issue is being hijacked by extremists. We do need to teach children the ability to question everything, not just religion, uh, but other issues as well. But all subjects, you know, whether they're around religion or gender or sexuality or other forms of identity, are done so in schools in a way which is conducive to positive learning. Most Muslims believe all images of the Prophet Muhammad are an insult and forbidden in Islam. A local mosque holding Friday prayers today has invited the teacher to visit. Like many parents at the school, this imam says dialogue is the answer. We understand everybody's uh, emotions, but uh, I think protest may not be the best way forward. Maybe sitting down uh, and uh, educating and uh, talking and discussing might be the better way. A petition by a pupil supporting the teacher now has 12,000 signatures. And while these protests have reignited a debate between the freedom of teachers to teach and religious sensitivity, they are at the expense of children who are missing more lessons. Ben Chapman, ITV News, West Yorkshire.